YouTube, it's your girl Nikki with another video for you guys today. Today we're going to be doing another sneaker review for you guys. Huge shout out to Reebok for actually sponsoring this video. Today we're going to be reviewing their brand new model, the brand new Reebok model called the Reebok Soul Fury. But before we get started with this video, I want to make sure you guys are already subscribed to my channel. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and of course, if you haven't already, go over to my Instagram as well. Follow me at Aniki Gomez. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this review. Let's do it. So again, we're actually going to be reviewing the newest model that Reebok is going to be dropping, which is the Reebok Soul Furies. They are actually set to release on November 8th, and they are going to be retailing for $90 in women's, I believe. Um, I did get a women's pair. I got my pair in a size 5.5. These are really dope because they're going to actually be featuring a new, well, not, it's not a new split technology, but it was actually first introduced in the early 90s. For the women's drop, there's going to be three different colorways. This is one of the colors that's going to be dropping. There's going to be a black and white pair, a lilac pair, and then we have these. As you can see, I decided to go with the craziest colorway that was dropping. The main thing about this sneaker, it actually has a split cushioning design. It helps the stability and flexibility on the foot with the shoe. So that's one thing that they really wanted to focus on with this sneaker. The interweaving on this sneaker, there's just so many materials on here and so many different types of breathable materials. It actually offers 360 breathability. You see on the lateral side, there is a white material here, which actually has vents. On the medial side, you'll see that we have had this engineered knit material that is lime green and then it actually is split and kind of split through the middle with these like lime green ribbons the actual tongue of the sneaker you'll see that we have these chunky super chunky um, laces that are lime green and black um, and then right below that you'll see that the tongue is actually red and black on the ankle you'll see that we have that black lining also on the heel of the sneaker you'll see that there's a lime green pool tab at the midsole it has like this chunky chunkiness to it but then it's like very bold and cut up and rigged which I really like and then you have this graphite middle plate in the middle it's kind of like in the midsole but also it's part of like the outsole it's kind of weird but pretty dope and what it's supposed to do is supposed to help with stability of the sneaker and then as you can see on the outsole there's actually a durable black rubber down here the best things about this sneaker is actually how lightweight it is um, like it weighs like nothing in my hand and it's supposed to do the same thing on your feet it's supposed to feel like there's nothing there it's supposed to help take that weight off and actually just give you that overall comfortability when i first tried these on they did feel very light on my feet they feel nice again i bought a size five and a half i would say if you have a wider foot i'll probably go up a size um especially if you want a little bit more room in your sneaker because again like these have a lot of breathability however they do feel like socks so if you don't like that snug fit and you probably want a little more room in your foot, I would say just go up a size. Um, but for me, I feel like they are true to size. I, I like the five and a half. That's usually what I wear in women's sneakers. And then if sneakers run small, I'll go again half a size up. So which is usually a six. So I'm usually between a five and a half and a six. But I felt like I like the five and a half but without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the on foot I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what these look like on my feet and how I would actually style these babies let's go ahead and do it <laughs> something funky. So there 
there you have it. You just got to see my full review of the Reebok Soul Fury. Again, huge shout out to Reebok for sponsoring this video. I'm really thankful and appreciative for you guys. I hope it was very insightful. I am definitely also interested in your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the sneaker. Are they a cop or drop or a yay or nay? These will be releasing November 8th. $90 for both men and women. I will be leaving a link in the description for you guys to cop that from Champ Sports. And again, this is your girl Nikki. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time.